Hi, this is Paul from Warm Farming Revealed, and this is a video tutorial on how to set up a basic plastic bin for your worm farming. What you'll need is two 18 gallon plastic bins. Uh, I wouldn't go much lower than that. You can, um, but you want to create more surface for your worms to move around in and find their food sources. Uh, actually, larger is better. Um, but I know that space is sometimes limiting for people, so I think 18 gallons is uh, roughly a, uh, a pretty good size. Um, and they're good trainers for just starting out. So uh, what you want to do first off is drill holes around the side. Keep your spacing about every five or six inches. Uh, that will allow the gases to escape as the oxygen comes up from the holes underneath. Uh, it creates that suction. Uh, the oxygen comes underneath and the gases are expelled out. The next step is to drill holes uh, around the bottom here. And you can also maintain about at every five or six inch radius. Uh, that will also be plenty. That also allows uh, not just the oxygen to come up, uh, but your leachate will drain from the top bin down into the reservoir. Your second bin serves as a catch-all uh, for the leachate and sometimes you'll have worms that will migrate out down there and what you can do is just uh, grab your worms, put them back in here, drain off uh, the liquid that's in the bottom. So what we need to do here is, this is our bottom bin, this is what's going to catch all of the liquid. You can take, uh, I just have a couple of uh, two by fours, and this is going to keep, oops, this is going to keep the top bin off of the bottom that will allow that liquid to build up so it's not touching uh, the bottom of the top bin. Uh, over here we have our bedding, as you can see, a bunch of torn up pieces of cardboard and I've got some shredded newspaper and then here I shredded uh, a paper sack a um, brown paper sack like you would get at uh, Whole Foods or uh, any grocery store <clears throat> then over here we've got um, the goodies for our worms we have a bag of salad that's gone bad coffee grains and some cilantro, uh, tomatoes, uh, grapes, potatoes. And what I've done with, with uh, all of these is put them in the freezer first because that will help to break down the, the cells, the cell walls. And when uh, you feed it to your worms, they'll just eat it twice as fast. So the, egg, the eggshells serve as uh, stones or minerals to help aid the worm into breaking down the bacteria. Um, it, it, they, they have a gizzard and it, and it helps to grind down the food. The stones within the um, soil helps the earthworm to digest it uh, even faster. Um, what we want to start out with is to go ahead and add the, the bedding. I generally like to add the shredded stuff first. And then you can add your cardboard. Okay. And then we're going to add, <clears throat> keep in mind, you want to keep a, a 20 to 1 ratio of carbon to nitrogen. Your carbon being your uh, cardboard, your newspaper, uh, all your paper products, uh, straw, peat moss, you know, things like that. That, that's your carbon. Your nitrogen is going to be your, your kitchen scraps. And so, I mean, a good 20 to 1 ratio of carbon and nitrogen to uh, nitrogen is, is pretty good. Okay, so next we're going to add um, all these goodies here. And I've got Cheerios, just to give you an idea. Cauliflower, cilantro, coffee grinds. 
and I do have some uh, some napkins okay and once you get just a little bit in there then you want to go ahead and put some more carbon-based material on top okay and then you want to put just one more layer again of kitchen scraps I got probably a little too much here you really want to make sure that you cover up your kitchen scraps or else they can have a really pungent smell once they start to break down and when you lift that lid but once you get your worms in there they'll help to uh, counterbalance that and uh, you won't have to worry so much um, what you also want to do is add this is a little uh, garden soil and just put just put a little bit in there this this kind of helps um, start the microbial community and these are these are some uh, crushed up eggshells and this serves as two purposes really and that it's a calcium base so it helps keep uh, your system from becoming acidic um, another thing you can do is, is add lime to it um, the more carbon rich products that you add to your bin will really help keep the uh, high uh, acidic um, nitrogen down you want to put the lid on well actually no you want to uh, put water on it and really at this point it's not going to matter uh, on the water you just want to make sure that everything gets good and, and, and damp uh, because the holes that you drilled on the bottom here uh, will drain everything out quite nicely and uh, after a few hours probably everything's done dripping out and you can take whatever is in here pour it down the drain or pour it outside um, but then you know once you start adding your worms you really want to watch that that moisture level always remember that uh, if you can pick it up and it's dripping wet and it's it's too wet uh, your worms uh, really won't like that um, but if you can't if, if you squeeze your your material your your castings and you can't get any water out then it's too dry uh, so always remember the the damp sponge theory so really what you want to do now is let this sit for about a week um, and then introduce your worms to the bin I'd wait, wait at least about a week or two uh, that'll allow the material to really start breaking down the bacteria will get in there and, and eat it the worms can't go in and just begin eating it they really depend upon the microbial community to break down the, the solids first just like uh, an ice cube you can't really swallow an ice cube you have to wait for um, the heat to melt the ice cube and as the ice cube melts you can uh, slurp it up well that's basically what a worm does so give this uh, bin time to break down and uh, then introduce your worms to the bin now if you already have your worms you can go ahead and, and uh, introduce your worms to the system just make sure it's it's uh, good and wet uh, and that it's not too dry um, so basically that's that's it um, I am Paul from Worm Farming Reveal and uh, happy warming.